Hollywood, the dating capital of the world. It's the dating game. It's On September 18, 1978, America tuned in to a popular TV series called The Dating Game, where three men vied to win a date with a single woman looking for love. And we'll get right underway. It's time to meet our first three eligible bachelors for game number one. And here they are. The three men were hidden behind a screen where the woman contestant couldn't see them. She could only hear their voices. Number one, would you say hello to Cheryl, please? We're going to have a great time together, Cheryl. Okay. What? What no one knew was that bachelor number one was a diagnosed sociopath and serial killer. Bachelor number one. Yes? What's your best time? Nighttime. Why do you say that? Because that's the only time there is. For 11 years, he crisscrossed the country, leaving a string of bodies in his wake. His name was Rodney Alcala. He eventually became known as the dating game killer. How did Rodney Alcala manage to evade capture for so long? And how did his appearance on The Dating Game lead to his downfall? From Wondery, the network behind Dirty John, Young Charlie, and Wonderland murders, comes The Dating Game Killer by Hollywood and Crime. I'm Tracy Patton. Join me and my co-host, Stephen Lang, as we dive into the story of one of America's most prolific serial killers. He's a skydiver, so he's got a lot of nerve. He's in a motorcycle. He's also a fine photographer. Say hello to Rodney Alcala. Rodney, come on and say hello. Hollywood and Crime, The Dating Game Killer, premieres on March 5th. Subscribe today on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening right now. Congratulations, Rod. You did it with the one answer.